All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Hashem Al Shai or Chakodash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai. This one the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. It's His true name, and Chakodash, that's the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who will teach you all in the Scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing His word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, as you can see, um, the title it says, Follow the Leaders. All right. And basically, I had a dream, um, I believe it was a, a night or two ago. I can't remember if it was last night or two nights ago. I pretty much had this dream about, um, you know, brothers following each other. Right. And um, it made me think about that um, game when, you know, when you're a kid, you play, you know, follow the leader. Right. They tell you that all the time. And, you know, and you play that game. Right. You know, you go all over, do a bunch of, you know, crazy stuff, right? You know, and um, it made me think about how right now, you know, the elect, they're going to follow the leader, which is whom? Yahweh Shai, right? All right. And then, it, you know, it trickles on down, okay? You know, and, you know, every person's got to follow that, you know, individual that's in front of them, you know, all right? And pretty much that made me think about how the Lord, you know, he sets up order, okay, in this truth. And point being is you got to follow, you know, the leaders, all right? Follow the examples that are in front of you, all right? Now, the ultimate leader is Yahweh Shai, okay? That's whom Yahweh has set up, all right? But hey, we know that right now the Lord has also set up other leaders, okay, in this truth, all right? That's why in the scriptures... Um, I forgot how it's, it's exactly worded, but it's in, I think it's in Corinthians. It says that, you know, the Lord set up, you know, some teachers, you know, some prophets and, you know, in the last, you know, um, apostles, right? You know, point being, though, is that there's an order to this thing and we got to follow that to the best of our ability. All right. But, you know, as I stated earlier, you know, we're we're following whom? Uh, Yahweh Shai, which is that ultimate leader. OK, now let's get this. Start off with this, because look, this is what it says in uh, Revelation, the 12th chapter. It says here in Revelation chapter 12, verse uh, 1, it says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb, which that represents Yahweh Shai, stood on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's uh, name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand, which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, wheresoever he goeth. You see, the elect are going to follow the Lamb wheresoever he goeth. All right, all right. And like I said, the, the, Yahweh Shai is that ultimate leader. He he he's the uh, the head of everything. Okay. But then the Lord has set up, all right, you know, uh, men in his stead, you know, uh, uh, leaders, okay? You know, and in this present time period, you have whom? The apostles of, uh, of Great Millstone, starting with the apostle Tahar, okay? Apostle Gabar on down, all right? You know, Racha, you know, the apostle um, Aramlab, right? The, 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 the elders, okay? The heads of the, you know, the different camps, all right, you see, the Lord has set this thing up, you know, and and, and you as a brother, you, you follow a, those that are in front of you, because they've been there before you. They 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 have experience, okay. They're 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 there to guide you in, in the right path. You see. All right, that's their job, you know. And we'll get a couple scriptures on that. But let me finish this out first. Back in uh, Revelation fourteen, in um, in uh, let's read uh four again. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the Most High Yahweh and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of the Most High. Okay? You see? Alright? And, um, you know, a, a, the elect are going to follow Yahweh Shai, alright? You see? The elect are going to follow Yahweh Shai because it's programmed in them. 
And then, you know, uh, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, they, they, they got a specific, you know, um, ranking order, okay, that we, we got to follow, all right? You have uh, whom? Uh, King David, all right, which is the Apostle Peter, all right? You, then you have the you know the the other apostles. They're gonna come in their lot in their stead, okay. And the other men of the Lord, man, all right. Whoever the hundred and forty four thousand are, those are the leaders of the nation of Israel right now, okay. And uh, let's get this. This is First uh, Peter chapter five verse one. The elders which are among you, I exhort, whom am also an elder. All right. This is uh, the apostle Peter talking, and a witness of the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. And also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the Most High, which is among you, taking the oversight, therefore, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of ready mind, neither as being lords over Yahweh's heritage, but being examples to the flock. You see, the Apostle Peter said himself and the other elders, they were there to be an example. All right, because that's what an example means. Is it's an example. All right. You see, he 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 knew that he had to, to guide the flock, to guide the sheep, all right? Because look, the, the elect, they're, they're, they're shepherds, all right? You know, you have Yahweh Shai being that ultimate shepherd, shepherd, all right? And you have the nation of Israel being those lost sheep, okay? And those elect men, they're the ones who are going to guide, okay? They're going to um make sure that flock is good, you see? But there's levels to these things, Okay? There's levels to these things, all right. And they, the Lord, hey, He wants order and structure, and that that's how you run a a, a well, you know. Um, yeah, I'll just say like it's a well ordered society. You're gonna you, you're gonna have you know different men of different ranks. You know, take you know they, they're gonna ha handle you know particular things, man. All right. You see, that's how the Lord wants it. All right. And as I made a statement earlier, how the Lord, he he he's uh he's got his leaders coming back, all right, you know. They're coming back, and, and that's prophecy being fulfilled. This is a first or second Ezra chapter one, and um, let's start at um. Um, I'll start at 36. This is uh, 2 Ezra 1 and 36. They have seen no prophets, yet they shall ca call their sins to remembrance, remembrance and acknowledge them. I take to witness the grace of the people to come, whose little ones rejoice in gladness. And though they have not seen me with bodily eyes, yet in spirit they believe the things that I say. Okay, and this is, um, this is what, uh, what's happening right now. You know, we don't see things physically, so to speak. Okay, we, we haven't seen Yahweh Shai, all right, we haven't seen, you know, Yahweh, all right, the, you know, the angels like that, you know, so to speak, all right, but, hey, but but spiritually we have, okay, and we believe, okay, we believe. Verse 38, and it says, and now, brother, behold, what glory, and see the people that cometh from the east, unto whom I will give for leaders, you see the Lord, he's giving leaders, he's setting them up right before our eyes, Abraham. Isaac and Jacob, um, Obadiah, Amos, uh, Micah, Joel, um, Osalaki, the first one was uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Hosea, Amos, My uh, 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 Micah, Joel, uh, o o Obadiah, Jonas, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, uh, Zechariah, and Malachi. Which is called also an angel of the Lord. All right, you see, these are the leaders that are going to get set up in this time period. Because look, during the time of Ezra, they, these men, they weren't around. All right, but how would they be leaders through reincarnation? They would come back in another lifetime to be those leaders that are set up. And the Lord promised, okay, us that this would occur. And uh, Isaiah also had a vision of that as well, because this is uh, Isaiah the uh, first chapter. And the 26th verse, this is what it says here. And I will restore thy judges as the first. You see, the Lord, he's going to restore us. Okay, restore them, those, uh, uh, those mighty men. All right? Those men of honor, those men of valor. They, they're going to be set up in their rightful place. And thy counselors as, as at the beginning. 
Afterwards, thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Okay? And you see these, these men are going to uh, help guide the nation, all right? All right? To, uh, to, 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 to perfection, for lack of words. And the reason why is because these men, they're going to follow uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's way. Because what, uh, what did Paul say, the Apostle Paul, all right? He said, be ye followers of me as I am a, a follower of whom? Yahweh Shai, okay? Let's get that real quick. I think that's uh, uh, I think that's First Corinthians. Let's get it. Give me one moment to find it. I think it's the 11th chapter from my... Yep. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1. It says, Be ye followers of me as I am of Yahweh Shai. You see? We're, we're, we're trying to, um, you know, be like Yahweh Shai, all right? And if we have examples in front of us, okay, leaders in front of us who are, um, who are doing these things, hey, we're going to follow them. We're going to follow them. They're there to, to help us out, to guide us, okay, in this walk. You see? All right? And ultimately, look, y Yahweh Shai is, you know, following the ways of whom? Yahweh. All right? Let's get this real quick. This is Matthew's the fifth chapter. All right? Let's get Matthew's five real quick. Because it says here in Matthew's the fifth chapter that, um... This is what Yahweh Shai said. Um, this is uh, Matthew 5 and, and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. You see? And Yahweh Shai, he, um, he was following the, 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 will, the, the ways of Yahweh. All right? And he was, you know, you know performing the will of Yah Yahweh. Okay? You see? And he told us, look, be ye there perfect, even as your Father. All right? You know, see, because he everything that he was doing was was um uh, uh basically the will of Yahweh. Okay, he he was you know following after the you know the guidelines of the heavenly Father. All right, so we we gotta follow you know um you know uh uh you know we we we, we gotta follow uh uh Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. All right, Yahweh Shai was that greatest example. You see. But let me read this. Uh, this is uh, first going back to Isaiah one and um and twenty six. Let's read it again. And I will restore thy judges as as I will restore restore thy judges as at the first, and thy counselors as at the beginning. Afterward, thou shalt be called the faith the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment, and are converse with righteousness. See, the elect are going to be um you know good at the end of the day. All right. The Lord's going to make sure that they're, you know, taken care of. You see? You know? The Lord is going to, you know, he, 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 he's, he, he's, um, he's got great things coming to those that follow, you know, uh, His will. Alright? You see? The well, point being, though, is, hey, we, hey, you know, those uh, individuals, alright, that are, um, that are going to, you know, uh, uh, that are a part of the um the elect they uh they're going to have examples they're going to have you know uh uh basically leaders okay you see and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with following a man of the lord all right there's nothing wrong with that cuz you have certain guys they'll sit there and and, and scoff that that the idea all right they'll scoff that but really it's because they want to have that uh that that preeminent seat okay they they want to be you know that guy that number you know the top dog all right instead of just being grateful for you know the knowledge wisdom understanding that they have being grateful that they have you know men in front of them to 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 guide them and lead them in the proper way you know because I'll say this say hey, the greater thou art the more uh more humble thou that th uh, thou shall be okay all right as the scriptures say and they they, they uh, much is given much is required. As you go up through the ranks, you you have a lot of uh, requirements, okay? A lot of requirements, and it's going to make you feel uncomfortable. There's a lot of pressure on you now, all right? So really, you don't even want to be one of the top dogs, so to speak, all right? A lot comes with it. And then you're going to, you have to make personal sa uh, sacrifices, okay? As, as you grow in this, as you get, you become older, more sacrifices are required, Okay? You know, 
and then you're gonna have to deal with a lot, a lot of stress. You know, like look at look at Moses for example. You know, as an example, he he had uh, uh he he was you know number one so to speak. All right, of the nation of Israel at that time, he was the the, the king, the leader, and look how much he had to go through. Look at how much he had to go through. It was a lot. All right, it was a lot, and that's why even uh his uh. Uh, uh, his father-in-law, you know, Jethro said, look, you know, basically you're going to have to, you know, um, have, um, faithful and righteous men that you can trust to, uh, take care of, you know, particular issues and matters. All right. Throughout the nation. So it's not all on your shoulders. You see that right there shows you that there is a, a structure. Would it make sense not to have a structure that, 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 that that's, that, that's madness. That's folly. All right. And that will lead to chaos. Alright? The point being though is, hey, you, you follow, hey, follow your leaders, man. Alright? Because they're there to guide you. They're not there to, to um, you know, send you off, man. Alright? Actually, I think that says that in uh, that Peter's. I don't know if... I, hold on, let me see real quick. You know, you know, let me read that again. I don't uh, I didn't finish that, Peter. But this is uh first Peter chapter five. I'll read three again. Neither as being lords over the most high's heritage, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd, which that's your house shy, shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth uh, uh, not away. You see, if you follow your examples, okay, whom they follow, Yahweh Shai, or if you follow a, a, a you know that straight line, those that are in front of you. Look, man, you're going to make it to the end, and you're going to um, receive that crown. It says, Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Ye all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. And it says, um, Clothed with humility, for the Most High resisteth the proud and giveth grace to the humble. All right? You see? All right. And uh, let me get this one, too. I, I don't think I got it. This is... Uh, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21, and it reads here, For even here unto were ye called, because Yahweh Shai also suffered for us, leaving us an example that ye should follow his footsteps. You see, like I said, Yahweh Shai is the ultimate, you know, example, the ultimate leader. Okay, we we, we, well, we got to, you know, uh, follow, you know, what's written. No doubt about it. Okay. But look, yeah, we got men around us to, to, to help us in this truth. Okay. Because hey, the Lord said, um, what is it, or uh, the scriptures say in the Ecclesiastes, if uh, two is better than one, all right, if one falleth, all right, basically his partner can help him out. And we need that. We need a helping hand from time to time, you know. Can't do this, you know, all by ourselves, so to speak. We, we need somebody to help bear our cross, you know, From like I said, from time to time. It is what it is, man. All right. It is what it is. You know, and and, and and look, man, if you don't follow hey, those that are in front of you, hey, the Lord's going to destroy you. Because ultimately, you got to remember, this is uh, this is all the Lord's will, man. Okay, because what does it say? Look in Acts, if this counsel be of men, all right, it shall come to naught. See, if this if this wasn't of the Most High, the Lord would have already destroyed this. The Lord would have already destroyed it. All right, but clearly, this is. You know, something from up above, all right? The Lord has set this up. And that's why it's, you know, continuing. And not only continuing, it's growing as well. All right? This is uh, Acts chapter 5. And I'll get, um, I'll just get to the point. Verse 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the Most High, ye cannot overthrow it. These happily ye be found even to fight against the Most High. So, if you fight against the order of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, you are going to fail. Okay, you are going to fail. It's like you boxing with the Most High. What's that old saying? Your arms are too short to box with the Most High. All right, you're gonna lose every time. 
So you, you as an individual have to accept that there's going to be people in front of you. All right? And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I said, I got to keep emphasizing that. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having a brother above you. All right? And like I said, hey, as you get up in the ranks, you got more responsibility, more. You got to sacrifice more. You know, you got to deal with more, you know, pressures. Okay? More issues come, you know, come to you. And it's not easy. It's not easy. All right? You got to think about it. You're guiding, you know, uh, men. All right? And you're you're guiding you know, you know uh, you know x amount of men and that that, that that's a lot man, because if you mess up hey now you're gonna get punished more. So it's best to like I said, to to be of a lower rank. Hey, but if the Lord has you placed in a higher rank, so be it. Embrace it. You know. The Lord wanted you there for a reason. And, and you know uh, uh, fulfill that lock to uh, uh, you know to the best of your ability, man. Do what you got to do. Okay, all right, but yeah, but point being though is um, hey man, yeah, follow hey, follow the leaders, man, follow your leaders, all right, in this truth, hey, your spiritual parents, okay, you know, because hey, they the scriptures talk about it, hey, um, I think it was um, the apostle Paul said that um, I think it was Timothy, was his spiritual son, okay, so you're gonna have spiritual fathers in this, all right, you're gonna have um, you're gonna have spiritual big brothers. Okay, you know, you're going to have a uh, spiritual little brothers, you know, you're going to have these things in this truth, you know, it, 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 it is what it is, man. All right. You see, the well, point being those, hey, hey, follow them leaders, man. They're going to guide you in, in the right direction because they're not trying to, you know, destroy you. Okay. They're trying to actually help you out. You see, because they... It, if they they if they got the, if those leaders got the the sheep in the wrong direction, now they're gonna have a greater condemnation, man. The Lord's gonna beat them with many stripes. So best believe they're just trying to help you out at the end of the uh, at the end of the day because, in, in you know, at the end they're gonna get rewarded for their righteous deeds. Okay, so they want to make sure that you're good. You see, but uh, but sh you know. That's pretty much it, you know. I'm gonna uh, end this lesson. You know, hopefully it was edifying. You know, I gotta get get to work in a moment. But um, with that, you know, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.